Guys, I might have figured this out and I think we're going to be able to install this now. It was a process, um, but I am about to try it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to show you how to install Kodi on a show device. That's right. You didn't think it was possible. You thought you were locked down, but guess what? If you got one of these, you can put it on there. Back in front of the show 15 now where we're going to show you guys how to install Kodi on this device. So the first thing you have to have to do this is a show 15 I'm not gonna say the name because it will wake up once you have the show 15 you will get a prompt that asks you if you'd like to upgrade your experience to the fire TV experience you go ahead and upgrade this device to the fire TV experience where you will come back and you will see this little dot right here see that right there once you have that then you're well on your way to getting Cody so guys what is Cody so Cody is a multimedia app that has been around for a really really long time and it used to be called XBMC for Xbox Media Center they did change the name now, what is important about this uh, about this Kodi app is that people write add-ons for it, and you can actually download add-ons to watch certain things. I won't tell you what because obviously we're not going to be breaking the law here. But a good app like this might assist you in watching certain things. Um, it has all kinds of apps. You can also actually just play multimedia from a server. Um, you can install apps directly onto Kodi like YouTube if you would like, but the important thing is you can install these add-ons. These are video add-ons, and to do that, you have to find their repository and install them from the repository, which I will show you here momentarily, but this is Kodi. All right, let's quickly go over what you have to do to install Kodi on your Echo Show 15. First, you go into the Fire TV. You go ahead and go to Find. And you search for the Developer menu. Developer Tools menu there. Here it is. Go ahead and open that. It pops up this little window. You can just hit the back button on your remote or either on the display remote. You're going to have to have Totalus installed as well. So go ahead and do that and you're gonna have to have File Explorer installed as well. When you press on them, you should be able to install them. Now let's go get Kodi TV. So we can hit back button here or back on the remote. So we will need the downloader for that. So back to the home screen. Go to find. Try that again. Find, search for downloader. There it is there. Go ahead and install downloader. Once it's installed, open it up. Now it's telling you that there's limited func functionality for touch. So now once you have Downloader installed, you browse to either this full link or you go to Kodi.tv. And remember this, this is limited touch. So if we just go to Kodi.tv, if you don't want to type in that whole link, you're going to have to get the 32-bit version. Go to the little menu here. Go to download. Go to Android, the little Android robot. 
Get the 32-bit version. The 64-bit version will not work. It will go ahead and download. Once it's done, it's going to attempt to install, which is going to fail. This doesn't work because when you hit settings, it's just going to disappear. So just click done on downloader. Or actually, you have to use your remote. Again, the touch doesn't work on a lot of things. Click the home button here or on the screen to get back to your Fire TV mode. Go into your apps. Find your find your developer tools menu. Open that. Just hit the back button to get out of that. Now, on File Explorer, you have to use your remote again. See how it says limited touch? You're going to want to go to your downloader folder where you downloaded that Cody. Select the one you just downloaded. I have a couple in here. So just select it with the middle button or on the screen. Click cut. Hit the back button either here or on the screen remote. Go to download and paste it. Once that's pasted, go back, back again, go into file, go into, sorry, Tautilus, right there. Tautilus, or whatever it's called. Open that. Find your download folder. Find the app you just copied. It's one, these are old. I've done it a couple of times now. But open up the Kodi app. Kodi app. It will then say continue and it will install and it will finish. And then once it's done, you will see that if you go to the home screen now and you go to all your apps, you have this wonderful Kodi. There is proof that Kodi works on the show 15 and then now we will show you how to put a good app like the crew into this okay now that we have this installed um, you're going to want to put something in it so to do that you need to get a add-on so if you go to settings file manager add source browse ah sorry um, click enter a name for this call it um, crew and then click none where it says path okay so here is the path https colon slash slash team dash crew dot github dot io click ok click ok click back I'm just going to use a remote because it's easier go to add-ons the touch works. Install from zip file. Yes. You'll have to enable unknown sources when it gives you the warning. You can enable unknown sources. Come back here, click on the crew. There's the repository. It is installing now. There we go. Add on installed. Now install from repository. Click the crew repo. Click video add-ons, click the crew, install, and then OK. It is installing now. Shouldn't take too long, it's at 7%. At 20. We'll be back up oh, already at seven. I was gonna I was gonna pause it, but it's almost done and now it is installed. Let's hit the back button on the remote here. And go back to the home. Now we have the crew. And you can proceed to enjoy your favorite things on your Echo Show 15. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel if this was helpful, and we will see you next time.